good evening good morning good afternoon from wherever you are happy to have you here welcome back to edu skills so it is made easy our mission is to make you fall in love with oed so definitely keep a smile on your face so we'll be looking into 14 types of questions different types of questions and 25 tips to crack these 20, uh, 14 types of questions so that will be one center of all so solution for all the uh, problems that you have regarding reading part a part b part c and listening part a part b part c so let's launch into it <clears throat> so today we are going into uh, reading and listening specifically the 14 types of questions we'll be looking into one type of question today and we'll see which are those 14 types of questions let me share my screen so reading and listening, OET reading and listening, top tips, Sage Skills admin series. These are known as admin series. Okay, admins are selecting these topics and giving me. So I have put it as admin series. 14 question types. These are the only question types that can appear in your reading as well as listening. So let's see which are the topic sentence based question. Number one, topic sentence based question. You might have gone through the shorts that admin Linda made it and Definitely, we'll going after each short, so we'll be explaining in one live session. And second one, exception-based questions. Third one, contrast word-based questions. Fourth one, opinion-based questions. Fifth one, emotion-based questions. Sixth one, gist-based questions. Seventh one, about questions. Eighth one, cause and effect-based questions. Ninth, problem-solution-based questions. Tenth, problem-reasons-based questions. Eleven, comparison-contrast-based questions. 12 inference based questions, 13 conclusion based questions, and 14 classification based questions. These are the only types of questions that can appear in OET. So we will be looking into each one of them in each session in elaborate, and we will be very thorough with those things. And we'll have 25 tips or strategies to tackle these 14 types of questions. Okay, so what are the 25 tips? One is scale. Second one, synonyms. Third one, synonymous language. Fourth one, paraphrasing. Fifth one, emotions. Sixth one, gist. Seventh one, attitude. Eighth one, cause and effect. Ninth one, problem solution. Ten, the problem reasons. Eleven, comparison. Twelve, inference. Thirteen, contrast expressions. Fourteen, sequential expressions. Fifteen, name. Sixteen, number or percentage. Seventeen, model verbs. Eighteen, adjectives. Nineteen, headings. 20 subheadings, 21 hedging words, 22 classification, 23 absolutes, 24 opposites, 25 grammar mistakes. Okay, that's it, all we have for you. And we'll take you step by step, provided you are active, and I'll be giving you a task every day, practice it, you need not do anything else. Don't take any tension, give me all the tensions, I'll take care of those tensions, and you'll definitely sail through. Okay, keep smiling. Yeah, tip one, topic sentence-based question, okay? This is the first one, first type of question. So we'll be going into topic sentence, the skills. Topic sentence-based questions. Reading part C, alcohol and cancer, we will take one. I'll be taking from different official materials as well as other materials from the official OET side. Thank you, OET, for allowing me to use some of these materials for teaching purpose and all other materials that from our platform as well so that you are sure these things happen in real life, okay? And so we have this paragraph here. Let's have uh, read this. Yeah. The Cancer Council advises that A option, there are many health benefits of alcohol. B, the benefits of drinking red wine to prevent or treat heart disease in conclusion. C, evidence that alcohol can prevent or treat heart disease in inconclusive. D, there is a safe level of drinking one or two drink, standard drinks a day when it comes to cancer. Script. But what about the heart health benefits of alcohol? Well, the evidence is inconclusive and potentially flavored at present. The Cancer Council says, Adding that the National Heart Foundation advises against drinking red wine or any type of alcohol to prevent or treat heart disease. Okay, let's stop it here. Let's stop it here. 
sentence. Okay. We need only one sentence. That is a topic sentence. We are going to uh, check out without reading other things. Will I be will I be able to connect to any of these options? Okay. See the options. And the first uh, topic sentence is this. What about the heart health benefits of alcohol? Well, the evidence is inconclusive. The evidence is the heart health benefit of alcohol. Evidence is inconclusive. Do you have any clue in any option? Please type in, in the chat box in the YouTube. It's very beautiful. One, one of these options, any of these options. So what are the hedging words in the first option? Option A. Health benefits. Health benefits, Sorry. many health benefits. Health, okay. Many health benefits. Okay. Second one. Prevent or treat heart disease. No. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is the concept, but the differentiating one. Conclusive. 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 Benefits and conclusive. And here evidence is inconclusive. 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 Okay. And here say, one, say or two. one or two. One or two. Okay. okay. Now check out these uh, keywords, hedging words, and the topic sentence. Only this part. Check out only this part. First part. Top. This is the topic sentence. Which one goes with this. Options. Benefits, mm -hmm. evidence. Option. Benefits, evidence, evidence. save level. Okay, any any idea? This read only this what is highlighted in yeah, there are so many putting in uh, in the uh, YouTube comment space. C C C C I can see so how many C's one only one B. Yeah. See, the B says the benefits of drinking red wine to prevent or treat heart disease means the benefit of drinking alcohol is conclusive. C yeah. says the evidence of drinking alcohol for the heart is inconclusive. So majority are saying C, only one has put B. Put on your options. Let's see how beautiful it is. We have not read the paragraph. We have read first sentence, only first sentence. Mm -hmm. Now, see, this is so clear. The Cancer Council advises that, the C option, the evidence that alcohol can prevent or treat heart disease is inconclusive. First sentence says the evidence is inconclusive. Correct? Topic sentence says the evidence is inconclusive. So first uh, type of question you should definitely focus on the topic sentence that's required to understand the whole paragraph. The whole paragraph is an explanation of the topic sentence, generally the first sentence. Okay, now the whole paragraph will speak why the evidence is con inconclusive. The reasons yeah. and explanations will be given. And there are some people who have one or two have said D or B, okay? Now we see, now cancer council says, and you can say cancer council name. I am not touching those strategies. There are so many strategies blinking here. Maybe the cancer council says, cancer council advises. These are there. Now I, I don't want to confuse. That's why I'm not touching upon that. Okay. Just see, those of you who have attended my previous sessions will understand. This is another confirmation. And... Again, there is one more clue here. Even without reading the topic sentence, you can choose the answer. Can anybody put in the chat box, in the comment space, how you can choose the answer even without looking into, the, into this paragraph, even the topic sentence? Anyone, please, please type in. From the th looking at just the four options, you can say which is the answer. What is the strategy to be used? The first option is there are many health benefits of alcohol. Second option is the benefits of drinking red wine to prevent or treat heart disease is conclusive. Third one, the evidence that alcohol can prevent or treat heart disease is inconclusive. Fourth one, there is a safe level of drinking one or two standard drinks a day when it comes to cancer. How do you select? What strategy tells you to select even without looking into this particular uh, whole uh, paragraph? Now, I am taking this into thing. Just... Come on now. I have taken away the paragraph. Okay. We have only this one. Okay. Health benefits. 
many health benefits. The evidence benefits is conclusive. The evidence that alcohol can prevent or treat diabetes is, is inconclusive. And self level of drinking, one or two standard drinks. standard drinks a day. Now tell me which strategy tells you, even without looking at the paragraph, one strategy tells you which is the correct answer. Inverse yeah. rate opposite. Quite opposite. Opposite. Yeah, inconclusive. There are, yeah, Incon inconclusive and conclusive. These are two opposites. Inconclusive and inconclusive are two opposites. When there are two opposites, one must be the answer. So definitely here you have one clue. Then when you go into this topic sentence, you see inconclusive here. Okay. Immediately you have the answer. So when there are straight opposites, two of them are straight opposites. The other two will be, as a result, other two will be eliminated. Other two options are automatically eliminated. So even before looking into the paragraph, you can eliminate two options. You have only two options when you go to read the passage. So you have to look into, when you read the passage, you have to look into only this one, whether it is conclusive or inconclusive, two opposites. And the first sentence itself, itself says the evidence is inconclusive. Beautiful. Hope that is clear. Yes, contrast. Yeah, contrast of this is not contrast. This is actually the opposites. Opposites. This is one of the elimination methods. I taught you there are seven skills of elimination. If you have not, I haven't attended the session. You can go and watch at the Edu Skills OET YouTube channel. Just type Edu Skills OET slash elimination method. You will find the whole session recording over there. Okay, that's great. Now let's check. Now if you want to go through this, you know, again, what do they say? Okay. See, Cancer Council is adding that the National Heart Foundation advises against drinking. Uh, okay, prevent or the message to consumers. Again, you see, this is, don't get confused with the National Health Foundation. We are not bothered about National Health Foundation. We are concerned about Cancer Council. Okay. Our focus is Cancer Council. See, again, they say no evidence. No Evidence means not conclusive. Uh, so suggest there is a safe level of drinking. Or uh, given that this risk, uh, the cancer count suggests that anyone who wants to drink at another event, no more than two hundred drink per drink is usually okay. So you can find the answer in the first sentence. That is known as the topic sentence. This is required for all your exams, whether you are writing OET, IELTS, TOEFL, PTE, whatever. You require to know these basics of English. So hope that is clear. Going to the next one. So you are here, you see, this is the structure of the topic sentence. Okay. This is the structure. What about the uh, heart health benefits of alcohol? Well, the evidence is inconclusive, the first sentence, then only the explanation, the triangle, upside down triangle. 